Hey everybody, it's Matt here, and today we're doing another unboxing video. So I got this off of AliExpress, and the reason why I did is because it was significantly cheaper than getting it off Amazon. Now, I thought that it was going to take a while to get here, maybe a little bit over a month, as it usually does, about a month, maybe at most a month and a half, but actually, this only took two to three weeks, which I thought was pretty cool. Still longer than Amazon, but definitely not as long as I expected. So looking at the packaging here, a little bit worried that it was potentially damaged and shipping or something uh, or something was chewing or gnawing at it but actually opening this thing up you can see a brown box here that feels pretty sturdy and opening that up you can see from the thumbnail of the video the ed64 plus so if you're not familiar with what this is before I get to that, I just want to mention it's kind of weird that it's in a Ziploc bag because when taking it out of the bag, it's not like the bag was needed, seemingly. Um, I'm happy that they put it in there, I guess, for extra protection, potentially, but the box itself doesn't seem that bad. The plastic seems just fine. But either way, though, the uh, this is actually a flash cart. Flash carts allow you to play uh, ROMs on your original hardware. The reason why I wanted to get this is because not only are N64 games going up in price but there are some pretty cool fan translations that you could play on the n64 so i thought it would be cool to play them on my original n64 and some rom hacks are also compatible as well it's listed as a game save device and like yeah sure it can do that but it's also a flash card so as you can see on the back here, it says that it does support micro SD cards. Also, it is region free. There is a little switcher up top. You'll see it a little bit later on the actual card itself, but you can switch from NTSC to PAL. So pretty cool that you don't have to like worry about what kind of shell shape it is or you know what you've potentially done to your console to try to mod it. The game should be able to work so long as your console is either NTSC or PAL. And also it talks about how much um, actual data is on the cartridge itself, which is very important depending what kind of games you want to play we'll be talking about that a little bit later but what's weird is that it says that you can actually back up games onto this and i know you can actually back up your saves you can actually uh, load saves onto this or back them up from the cartridge from what i've read but i don't believe there's actually any ability to back up games at least on this version of the ed64 uh, if any of you can prove me wrong please do down below as i will be doing uh, more research for a review over at our game time channel but it just seems as if that uh, that functionality was actually removed from newer versions of the hardware. And you can see some stuff about firmware under specifications. This is not as plug and play as you think, which is also something else that you'll see in just a bit. Opening this up was way more difficult than I thought, just how they packaged the device. But either way, you can see here there's a disc. This disc actually has firmware on it. You should be able to get this firmware online, but basically you do have to install this onto the flash cart itself. And there's an instruction manual here talking about how to do that. So sadly, you can't just pop it into your console compared to something like the EverDrive. So when you compare this to the EverDrive, well, this is only 50 bucks or so. So it's at least where I got it from. So it definitely is extremely extremely cheap in comparison. At the same time though, you don't have to do any of this firmware stuff with the EverDrive. I'm pretty sure you can update your firmware if you want to, but this is talking about just right out the box, you do have to mess with some firmware. Also there's this huge list here of compatible games and how they are compatible. So again, it's not going to have every game uh, as compatible. Looking at, just off the top of my head, thinking of a game like Animal Crossing, uh, which yes was released on the 64 and yes does have a fan translation. Not sure if it's a complete one but what i can tell you is that that fan translation is or just animal crossing in general is not compatible with this flash cart because you need a real-time clock which is actually in the cartridges so the most expensive ever drive does emulate this uh, or it does have a real-time clock in it whichever one but it is the most expensive one as you can see so not being able to do that and sacrificing that and also by the way not being able to uh save without actually turning your uh, hitting the reset button on your console that's another thing that you have to sacrifice so again I'm gonna go more in depth on the game time channel but just a few things to think about before you end up just looking at this and going wow only 50 some odd bucks sure I'll buy it well that's you know the, those are the drawbacks uh, looking at this entire list I'm not gonna read every single game on this list out I'll just be showing little brief snippets of it it's also there is a list available online I would suggest looking at that Google Docs 
probably easier than just uh, buying this and trying to read the small print on every single game that's available here. Um, but the point is, is that yes, not every single game is compatible. And the ones that are, they're going to be some little tiny things in the settings that you can adjust uh, at the main menu when you install all the firmware and whatnot. But looking at the cartridge, I have to say I really do like the design. On the back here, it actually has a little warning sticker. And up top, there's actually the switcher that I mentioned earlier between NTSC and PAL. Love the sticker on the front, by the way. Uh, really cool design, just in general. I like that you look at it and it's sleek, but it's also not trying to be a normal uh, cartridge. You can tell that it's, you know, different compared to all the other cartridges in your uh, collection. It's a bit hard to push the switcher. Gotta admit, I was a little confused because it just, it's very difficult to switch. Um, but either way, you're not gonna get confused once it's on either NTSC or PAL. Now, where is that SD card slot? Which we'll get to in a second. You can see the ED64 uh, actual sticker on the bottom there. And the uh, slot for the SD card, which oh, is a bit difficult to remove, is actually on the left hand side here. So you actually can push it in to pull it out. So don't try to just pull it out with your bare hands or with any other kind of device. But I straight up had to get a, a small little either like a pen or in this case it was like a nail file to push it in to then have uh, it eject the SD card out. Wasn't a fan of that, but I will say that I'm actually pretty happy that they even gave me an SD card. I was not expecting one. And looking at the size of it, that's definitely big enough to hold any of the N64 games that you want to hold. I'm not too sure how big the N64 library is off the top of my head, but I can tell you that, hey, it's not all compatible anyway. So with all the compatible games out there, it definitely is enough. All right, so that about wraps up the video. Thank you all so much for watching. As always, if you liked the video, please remember to like and subscribe. Love you all, take care, and tune in next time. So, see ya!